Hello everybody, this is Thomas Stünkel, founder of commissioningcoach.com, a commissioning engineer and a commissioning manager. Welcome to the last part of my 10 parts commissioning video mini training. Today we will speak about post commissioning. And this mind map you can download as well from my download section on commissioningcoach.com. If you are a member of my online commissioning training, you can even download a high resolution mind map or this mind map in PDF format. Okay, let's start with the explanation of post commissioning, our last step of our nine key elements for successful plant commissioning. The nine key elements of successful plant commissioning. Element nine. Post-Commissioning What is post-commissioning? This is the phase starting after handing over the plant to the client, our final acceptance, FAC, until operations assistance is not needed anymore and the outstanding punch points are solved. Typical activities Adjustments, modifications, and fault corrections. Important completion of outstanding punch list items. And the first routine maintenance checks are performed, findings evaluated and reported. The process equipment and items covered by warranty are observed for possible problems. And operating data is collected and evaluated to ensure consistent plant operations are maintained. Our interface during post commissioning looks a little bit different. The contractor, he is responsible for solving the outstanding punch points. And usually, at the beginning of this period, a few experienced commissioning engineers from the old crew stay on the plant. With old crew, I mean the crew who commission the plant, because these guys are really, really experienced, and they know blindly where to go if there is a problem. But later, maybe after a few weeks or months, there is usually just one commissioning engineer and he or she is the first contact person for the client in the daily routine and usually he is just in day shift. The company is responsible for production planning, operations, maintenance, product quality control, emergency response, security and safety. The vendors They are still managed by the company and mainly for repair works. And the licensor during the post-commissioning phase is there as well. Where necessary, the process licensor may supervise the operation of relevant systems and provide technical assistance. The duration of the post-commissioning. This varies as well from plant to plant and industry to industry. Maybe this is just one or two months, but it can go as well for a few years. Yeah, this is really true. <laughs> I know a colleague and I worked in a petrochemical plant in Arabia and after the plant has been handed over, My colleague stayed there for more than two years to solve the last remaining punch point. So, this was the last video in this series, post-commissioning. This was the last step in our complete process of commissioning of industrial plants. So, just a short summary of the last step post-commissioning in our complete commissioning sequence. Post-commissioning means the phase after handing over the 
plant from the contractor to the client. So the plant is operated by the client. We had the final acceptance and the contractor is still there and the contractor helps the client to operate the plant and to solve outstanding punch points. And this phase can be sometimes one month, two months or even more than two years. So it was great to have you on board for this commissioning video mini training and it would be great if you could sign up for my newsletter on commissioningcoach.com. I will keep you up to date about new commissioning video training topics and if you are not already a member of my online commissioning training, now it's a good time to sign up. Just go to onlinecommissioningtraining.com and sign up. You will get immediately access to all the stuff. You can download all the videos and you can even download checklists, procedures and as well a complete pre-commissioning manual. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thomas Stünkel.